For this first video reading response, I wanted to explore captions in video games. Sound design in video games is a critical element to helping the player feel immersed in the narrative, almost as though they're participating in a living, breathing world. You can imagine how challenging captioning in the gaming industry can be with populated worlds full of sounds that can activate at any time, overlapping each other, especially with the player controlling the camera, bringing sound, verbal, and nonverbal into focus and out of focus. In Sean Zdenek's book, Reading Sounds, on page 81, we read that, when faced with multiplicity and uncertainty, the captioner must show sensitivity to context and purpose, because non-speech sounds can also easily accumulate and overlap in a scene, especially in action movies. The captioner must be selective about which non-speech sounds to caption. This is especially true in video games, yet it is not something we see being practiced perfectly in the industry yet. In most games I've experienced with captions on, many non-speech sounds aren't captioned for the player during gameplay. In many popular video games, language is the only thing that's captioned, and they sometimes miss those lines as well. Recently, I've been playing The Rise of the Tomb Raider, and a few positives the captions have. Different character names are not only referenced in the captions at the beginning of the scene they're in, but have their own unique caption color to make their voices more distinctive. It also does a good job of labeling fluctuations in character voices like weak, exhausted, hushed, and occasionally labels a non-verbal noise. But, as previously mentioned, not everything is captioned. In various places in the game, you may come across exotic animals, which prey over an area and attack the player when they get within its line of sight. The growling noise that these predators make are not captioned. For the bears and tigers especially, which hide in caves and tall grass, not having a caption to tip off someone who isn't able to hear the auditory music cue or animal noise could mean the death of that player. Likewise, there are enemy encounters in which the dialogue from the enemies is not captioned, like She's over here, throwing grenade, and other combat phrases which can help the player avoid taking damage or strategize their attack. While the visual cues during these scenarios are great, I still think if captioned these things would benefit players who may be at a slight disadvantage because of auditory difficulty. Alternatively, there are games with too many captions, like Minecraft. When you turn captions on in Minecraft, every sound is labeled on screen, whether helpful or not. I could go on and on, as there's such a wide spectrum of the way captions can be done in video games, and it's my hope that we can come to a nice middle ground in the future so as to make gaming a more inclusive and diverse hobby, as is stated on page 15 of Reading Sounds. By including people with disabilities in our thinking about sound and multimodality, we deepen our understanding of audience. Rather than paying lip service to the audience or failing to consider the needs of users with disabilities, we open ourselves up to more diverse and inclusive notions of audience. Thank you for watching. All right, all right, I, I can't help it. Look at this. How am I supposed to shoot bad guys in Destiny 2 and read four lines of dialogue text? What is up with that? Okay, now we're done. Thank you for watching.